What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today is the continuation of Mix Six Pack Theme Month here on the channel and the beer I'm reviewing today comes from the Goose Island Beer Company and they're out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is their summertime, so they're calling this a German style Kolsch. Comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs at the time of review. I'm not sure exactly how old this one is, but on the back of the label it has a drink by date and that drink by date is December 7th of 2019. Considering this is the middle of August, we're about four months away from that date, so it's relatively fresh. The name of the beer is Summertime. It's still summer, and there's a train outside going nuts, so hopefully you can hear that. I'm not going to stop this review train. I'm going to roll on. All right, I'm done. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I wanted to grab this one and give it a go because I have not reviewed any Goose Island beers on my channel, and... It's not for any specific reason. In fact, I plan on in the fall, probably in um, November, on uh, doing a uh, Bourbon County theme week, probably, because I have enough beers where I can do that. And uh, yeah, I just haven't picked up any of the other Goose Island products, like a lot of their year-round beers I've had before. And you know, I just don't seek them out and I don't drink them all that often. But this is a summer seasonal, I believe, that I have... Uh, Never had before, so I thought I would give it a go. Perfect time during mix six pack theme month and uh, hashtag proper glassware. I have a Goose Island glass. It's a little bit bigger, uh, but we're gonna probably be able to fit most of this in here. So anyway, let's crack it open, give it a go. So I've been really liking Kolsch's uh, this year. I don't know what it is. I, th I feel like they're just a great summertime style. And uh, I guess Goose Island agrees because they brewed one for the summer. Let's give it a pour. Might be some hashtag uh, dirty glass mafia here. I have not used this glass in Man, I don't even know. It's been, I want to say, maybe a couple years since I've used this glass. So, no, I guess we're pretty good. No dirty glass mafia. I guess I cleaned it well enough. Anyway, yeah, that has this really nice golden um, yellow color. It's not, it doesn't look like a macro lager. It's a little darker than that. It has like slight hints of orange. Very filtered like a coal should be. About a two finger of a bright white fluffy looking head. Lots of carbonation, but this does have an etching in the bottom to uh, promote the carbonation. So, yeah, anyway, let's get a nose. A hmm, little bit muted here. Definitely getting a little bit of a graininess to this one, a little bit of a red apple core, lemon, definitely a citrus uh, vibe, but like a crackery, um, almost biscuity malt base. A little bit of grassiness too. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of complexity to nose. Now it does have a couple finger of a uh, head on here, but you know it it's a Kolsch. A Kolsch, they're not overly complex. They're not supposed to be a beer that you sit there and contemplate while you're drinking it. And like, yeah, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't review Kolsch's because I review quite a few Kolsch's, but it's like, you know, there's not 75 different flavors going on here. It's not super complex. It just smells like a pretty uh, you know well brewed Kolsch. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's an easy going Kolsch. Not much here. Um, the body on this one's actually a little bit bigger at 5%. I'm surprised. Yeah, this is like medium, lower side of medium body. Really nice body. Mouthfeel, crisp, clean, refreshing, super crisp on the palate. Um, you know, effervescent, lots of carbonation. The flavors on the nose kind of carry over. You get a little bit of that red apple core, uh, the graininess, a little bit of crackery, biscuity thing going on. Definitely a heavy grain presence. Uh, lemon, maybe even like a lemon lime thing going on. A little bit of like grassiness as well. As it passes over the palate though, it starts to dry out on the back end. It has like a semi-dry finish. It finishes with a little bit of residual sweetness, no bitterness to speak of. And yeah, super easy. I don't find any faults in this one. The red apple core, probably coming from the yeast esters, I'd imagine. A little bit bigger than I typically notice in a Kolsch. Not that everyone's going to get red apple core in a Kolsch. Just I, that's one thing. When it comes to Kolsch's, I, I, I get red apple core a lot. I don't know what it is. I'm probably perceiving that wrong on my palate. Maybe not. But um, yeah, it's it's like it's like an apple closer to the core. Not like the actual core of the apple, but just like closer to the core, to the to the innards of a an, of an apple. It's not an off flavor like a like a you know sour green apple. But, um, yeah, it's, listen, is it anything to write home about? No, not really. Is there anything amazing about this? No. Is there anything bad about this? No. It's a 5% 20 IBU German style Kolsch that is brewed pretty well uh, to style. Stylistically, I'd give this like a 4 out of 5. It's damn tasty Kolsch. Uh, but preference, 
um, you know, as far as rating goes for the summertime from Goose Island. I'm gonna go low 3.5 out of five. I'm gonna go 3.45 out of five. And the reason I'm doing that is because I've had better cultures this year. And this one lacks a little bit of flavor. Like I said, they're not overly complex, but that red apple core for me is a little bit more pungent than I want. And it's not as refreshing as it could be, even though it's quite refreshing. It's just not as good as some of the ones I've had. Yeah, value and availability. The value on this one, bucket 83 a bottle, that's fine, but you can probably find these for like eight, nine dollars a six pack, so cheaper than a bucket 83 a bottle. You probably can you know, find these closer to like a buck 40, buck 50 a bottle. And for that price, yeah, damn good value. Uh, availability, Goose Island's freaking everywhere pretty much in the world at this point. Um, you know, owned by AB InBev. You can probably see this one anywhere in the States, all over Europe. My buddies over the UK probably can even get this one uh, relatively easy. So uh, yeah, in summertime from Goose Island, 3.45 out of 5. It's a solid Kolsch. I've had better. At the same time, I really can't complain too much about this one. I think like a right around a 3.5 out of 5 is appropriate score for me. And if you've had this one, let me know what you think about it because, uh, yeah, uh, this is the first uh, beer I'm reviewing from Goose Island Channel. This is one of the first seasonals I've had from Goose Island in quite a while. And like I said, it's nothing amazing, but, you know, I'm not hating it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, really easy drinking beer. So anyway, that was summertime, Goose Island, and it got a 3.45 out of 5. Appreciate everybody stopping by. And until tomorrow, when we do another mixed six-pack theme month beer, and I review it and have hopefully a good time, I'll see you. Cheers.